Well, we're here at NEG uh, in, in the Highlands of Scotland, uh, seeing another great milestone in the redevelopment of this energy yard, uh, the building of the South Quay, which will enable NEG not just to fulfil oil and gas contracts, as it does at the moment, but some of the renewable contracts that we confidently expect this yard to be in competition for. So we've seen also today the Memorandum of Understanding uh, between Global uh, Energy and the Murray Firth Offshore Renewables Company uh, to say that uh, NEG will be closely looked at as, as the place for much of the engineering development. I think the memorandum is just a start. It's a, it's a belief by both companies that we need to work together, that we will share information, that we will share strategy. And I do see this as a forward base for the development in the Murray Firth, which is only 15 miles from NEG. So uh, I think it's just uh, a show of faith by both companies that uh, we're here and we're going to develop the industry for really the Highlands and for the wider Scottish economy. Well, the Murray Firth obviously has some great uh, geographical benefit for us and our particular project, but it also has a historical uh, perspective that means that we have the skills based here, we have the facilities, ports, harbours, depth of water, etc., which is ideal for the development of offshore wind farms. This particular wind farm is based in the outer Murray Firth, but there's no reason why this facility and the facilities around it can't support future wind farms, be they around the Scottish coast or even international. And obviously during the operations and maintenance phase, it makes sense that the ports and harbours are close geographically to the wind farm that they're going to support. We've had some beginnings, but this is the real beginning of, I think, renewable business uh, starting in Scotland. And with the placing of the first orders, and with the commitment of the government to our South Key project, which is a long-term project to, to widen our base from oil and gas into renewables, I think it's a really exciting day. Well, the revival in Egg over the last two years has been based largely on oil and gas contracts. The development of the South Key means they'll have ample space, ample deep water to deal with both renewables and oil and gas. So instead of NEG being an oil and gas fabrication construction yard or even a renewables fabrication yard, it becomes an energy fabrication yard in the heart of the Highlands of Scotland.